In this daily drop, I'm going to talk about some of the content I've created that I really like and I think might be worth watching on my road to this episode 100. So let's go. All right, here we are. And unbelievably, believably, whatever you want to call it, we are at episode 100 of the Daily Drop. Started this back in the middle of August of 2023, and when you're doing it five days a week, getting to this point doesn't take that long. We're only just getting started here, but I thought it might be nice in this episode to not only thank you, the subscribers, for being here, engaging, commenting, asking about things, that's what it's all about, but to also look back at some of the content that's been created in the last three and a half months and almost four months and call out some of those episodes that I think might have value for you to check out if you haven't already that I think have good educational content. There's more than just these episodes, but this is the content that I just, when I was going through the list, I thought might be worth talking about. So in no particular order, but at least from earlier episodes to later episodes, I don't have a favorite in terms of ranking. Here we go. I've got a cheat sheet right here. Episode number 13, Lucky 13, is where I broke down labeling for ND filters. And it can get pretty confusing out there because different manufacturers label ND strengths different ways. So in the episode, I break that down and I hope make that clear so that it's a lot easier for you when you're looking for ND filters to know what those strengths are and what those labels are and take some of the confusion out of the equation. Number two on the list is episode 19. It's the first appearance of these episodes of Bruce and just a fun episode for me to do where I did a little tabletop lighting setup, talked about back key light and using little silly modifiers to, well, to modify light. And I just had a fun time doing it. If you haven't checked out the episode, it might be worth a watch. Okay, next on the list, episodes 34 and 37. They were not shot sequentially, but they are part of a, I guess, two-part series on a do-it-yourself beadboard setup. I went to Lowe's and bought a 4 by 8 sheet of silver on one side, white compressed styrofoam on the other. It's all white compressed styrofoam, but it just has silver on one side. And broke that all down to make two four by fours and so on and so forth. And then the follow-up episode is putting it into at least one practical application. So I had a great time doing that. The reason they're not next to each other in terms of episodes is I did content on some other subjects in between, got to that later on. So those two episodes and of course, like all of this, links will be in the description. Okay, next on the list, episodes 40 and 42, which focus primarily on using the Satellite 3D application, which I absolutely love. I've been using it for years now as an educator and have started to use it a lot more now for pre-visualization, for figuring out lighting setups, and just for learning lighting in general. I've also noticed there's a lot more cinematographers and DPs and content creators using Satellite 3D, and I just think it is an amazing application. It's been worth every dollar I've spent on it over time, and I'll put a link to it. There's also a code you can use if you want to get the application, which will save you some money. All right, here's another one with two episodes. It's episodes 57 and 58. It's the U Lanzi Garage Kit. <laughs> Crazy little setup and a lot of fun to play with. In the first episode, I break down what this little kooky tabletop lighting setup is all about. Bicolor with modifiers, kind of janky, but really, really fun. And I got a couple of those. And then in the follow-up episode, I actually take it into a practical application. Second episode on this list with Bruce and just had some fun putting a monitor behind talent, quote unquote, and using this little garage kit to do a little lighting setup. So a lot of fun. And again, I think some good educational content there as well. 
All right, and lastly, on the list of content for the stuff leading up to episode 100 are episodes 87 and 89, where I start to dig into atmospheric filters from Tiffin, specifically the night fog filters. The first episode really just talks about the concepts of filtration, atmospheric filtration, so on and so forth, with some practical examples. But then the follow-up really has to do with using different strengths of the filters at different focal lengths and talking about that subject matter. It's just the beginning of me dipping my toe or toes into specialty filters that fall outside of NDs, polarizers, and grads. So I'm looking forward to going down that path a lot more in the future. I actually had a meeting with Tiffin today where I got to ask some lots of questions, which really helped me learn more so I can teach you more. That's what I've got. Thank you for being here all the way up to episode 100. I hope you're in for the ride for 2024. Should be a lot more content coming out, including starting again at the beginning of next week with episode 101. Don't forget to, and to, and I'll see you on the next episode of The Daily Drop.